What's up, everyone? Today we're making eggplant with garlic sauce. My name is Randy, and we are the Laos. We're on a mission to celebrate and pass down our Chinese heritage, one meal at a time. After 50 amazing years as a Chinese chef, my dad's finally retired, and he's here to teach you all of his secrets to make the perfect eggplant with garlic sauce, a dish he's made hundreds of times. literally translates to fish fragrant eggplant. Yuheng is a famous flavor profile from Sichuan province, home to one of the eight major styles of Chinese cuisine. My dad's version of this popular eggplant dish not only celebrates the essence of the Yuheng flavors, but it's healthier and less oily than what you typically get at a restaurant. And the ingredients he'll be using are generally more accessible to families like ours that aren't surrounded by Chinese markets. If you're curious, I've linked to a few other great recipe videos on Yuheng eggplant that also explore traditional Sichuan cuisine and ingredients in more detail. When you're buying eggplant, how do you choose them? I also wanted to point out that we're using Chinese eggplants for this recipe. My dad prefers them because they're less bitter and have less seeds than other types of eggplants. This recipe still works with the wider, fatter types of eggplants, with some small adjustments that we'll be talking about during mealtime. Cultivated throughout Asia for thousands of years, eggplants come in many shapes, sizes, and names. Interestingly, in Italian, it's called melanzana, which morphed into mela insana, or mad apple in English, which is a nod to the 13th century beliefs that eggplants were extremely poisonous and could cause insanity. While it is true that eggplant leaves and flowers can be toxic if you eat them in large amounts, eggplants are extremely nutritious with a ton of health benefits. How do you cook it evenly? Oh, wow! I would not have known that. Yeah, <laughs> while we wait for the eggplant to steam for 15 minutes, we'll start chopping our ingredients. We'll be chopping about 2 ounces of fresh shiitake mushrooms and 3 mini sweet peppers into small chunks. This is from a Patreon member. Do you prefer it with or without meat? In the restaurant, most, most of the restaurants put meat. If you wanted to put meat in this mm -hmm. dish, somebody really loved pork, what do they have to do? Yeah. Do you marinate with cornstarch? Mm -hmm. like you can or you don't because it's a very small amount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. <laughs> We'll also be mincing five cloves of garlic, a 
half ounce of ginger, and three pieces of green onion, as well as two pieces of small dried red chilies, and another sweet pepper into fine pieces. You can adjust the amount of dried chilies to your liking. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. To make it easier for cooking later, my dad put the chunks of mushrooms and sweet peppers on one plate, the minced ginger, garlic, chilies, and peppers on another plate, and the green onions on a third plate. Next, we'll prepare our yu heung sauce with 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 2 tablespoons of vinegar, 3 tablespoons of brown sugar, a half tablespoon of ground bean sauce, 2 teaspoons of cornstarch, and 4 tablespoons of water. This is optional, but you can also add 1 tablespoon of cooking wine. If you have dietary restrictions, vegetarian mushroom oyster sauce is a great alternative to the standard oyster sauce, which is made with oyster extract. There's also a brand called Wok Mei that makes a gluten-free oyster sauce, but it still contains oyster extract. We've included links to buy both sauces in our description and on our blog. Okay, gaochun, the 就再煮這些東西, Next, we'll dump out the water from the wok, dry it, and reheat the wok on high heat for a few minutes until it's around 300 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll add about 2 teaspoons of corn oil and let that heat up until it's shimmering or forming ripples across the surface. Let everything cook for about 30 to 45 seconds to release the aromatics. You can also optionally add some of the green onions and let everything cook for about 20 to 30 seconds. After adding the sweet peppers, let everything cook for about a minute as we constantly stir the wok. Mix the eggplant around with the sauce for about 60 to 90 seconds. Oh, Oh, 
，堆埋啲沙士集上下 ，OK。我哋今日嘅鱼香茄子就已经煮好咗啦，大家睇下，系冇肉嘅，吓，食得。Is it a party? Ah, Toro and the Baku. Oh my gosh! Wow. Oh, Toro. Oh, the Baku. Wow. Why are you so long? Okay. Oh yeah. Toro cake, turnip cake, all the cakes. Wow, that's making me really hungry. Oh. Okay, say bye. 嗯 ，so good。I think he wants some 哈。Oh my gosh！ 你望到你 ，that's so good。嗯，咩话？嗯 ，so delicious。呢个鱼香蔬子咧，煮咩都得嘅，煮豆腐啊，煮咩？首先讲下鱼香蔬子先啦。佢系鱼香茄，象征式嘅有鱼嘅味道喺度。以前以前好耐以前，煮鱼香茄系有鱼嘅，但系而家改咗。鱼香茄嘅特点咧，酸、甜、辣、咸。四樣喺度，兩樣又酸，酸得嚟夠酸，甜得嚟夠甜，辣咧咪隨地中意啊！呢個特點就係咁啦。或者四川人最中意食嘅呢個魚香，自己流行到好流行，全世界流行啊！喺美國而家間間餐館都有呢、這個呢、這個魚香。你中國有冇食過呢、這個？冇，茄就有，茄就有，魚香茄就冇食過。但係誒，蘇氏咧就都係嚟到呢度先至咩啫？因為嗰嗰時啲啲啲大即係都係好宣佈啊！嚟到美國之後咧，即係有好多機會咧去餐館食飯，咁就會好多時候食到個魚香魚香茄啦。但係咧，我咧就覺得餐館咧點樣講咧 ？When we eat in the restaurant, taste very good. There's no doubt for that. But more oily. In restaurants, more more oily. And then also at home, look at me. I can like a pick up like this, one piece by one piece. Yeah. But in restaurant, usually I use the spoon. Yeah. Because it's kind of all over the place. Like already become like a mush. Yeah. We we eat this a lot, right? Yeah. We don't want to always use big part of oil to deep fry the egg pan. It's much easier to do the the steam way. Yeah. You see, China has some, uh, hot egg. 矮瓜有有有，系咪好容易中中啊？嗯，都唔系好难噶。种嘢就你几时你系咁，你好心机你种咪多啲先。嗱，红多，红多好似你养养仔咁样，你好心机养你个仔咪叻啲咯。养仔咯，种嘢就养仔咁啫嘛。食咩先嘅神 ？A lot of people ask when you're buying eggplant, how do you choose them? When I go to the market, I always first I look at the color, mm -hmm. bright, mm -hmm. bright color. Mm -hmm. This one is pretty bright, but this one is a little bit dark. You can see here, mm -hmm. it's kind of already changed the color, kind of getting dry. I, I choose the more bright one. Second, I will always slowly do like that. Yeah. If rather elastic, that's the good one. Mm -hmm. If like a really stiff, mm -hmm. then I'm not going to pick that. I see. And then the other thing is Daddy taught me, pick. The egg pan is really slim, yeah, but not with the big tummy. How about like these blemishes? Like the, do you do do you care? No, that one no. But if have a lot wrinkle, like the water become dehydrated, yeah. So dehydrated then will be have a lot wrinkle in the skin. That will be kind of little too old. Oh, yeah. 好似呢条咁样，呢条都 OK， 但系呢度咧胀咗，呢度已经有开始接近老啦。呢條茄咧就冇呢條茄咁靚啦，問題就呢度咧就要少少有少少唔係咁好啦，但係呢兩條咧就好啦，即係佢平，唔係突出嚟，咁就靚啦，知道嘛 ？How about length？ 有啲長有啲短嘅，有啲長有啲短，但係都係成條茄平嘅，咁就靚啦。When when I go to the market， 長短都唔係大問題。我最我成日最中意話揀揾啲呢啲咁嘅有嘅。我唔中意揾啲粗嘅，好似咁樣嘅。Yeah, the daddy doesn't buy to buy buy the like a big big one. Yeah. Oh, I would have thought the thicker. 我中意揾揾啲咁細條。No, no, no. Um, a lot of people wanted to know, can you make this dish with the other type of eggplant? 啲美國矮瓜咪好大嘅，好似個燈籠咁嘅，得唔得啊？咁得，不過中間嗰個心力切切緊啲佢。你哋中間咪畫好多畫喺度咯。More see, cut more. Yeah. Less see, cut less. Okay. Okay. 
，哎，上次是吧？看到吗？那我这些瓦太多了，你瓦唔好咩？呀呀 ，OK， 呀，咁子佢咪唔烂咯？咁子咧佢就唔会烂啦。点啊？啊，同个皮咧，薄咁少少皮佢，因为美国啲矮矮瓜啲皮咧厚啲嘅，硬啲，硬啲嘅，即系唔唔系全部刨晒喎。嗯嗯，刨即系呢度刨一下，呢度刨一下，唔系全部刨晒喎。The texture is different, a little bit harder. With American ones, a lot of time you salt it to kind of make it less bitter. Like, do you need to salt it to remove the bitterness? Kemudian,父母,你可以再将干青落在盐里，等佢去咁多水，去咁多水焚。冇乜冇大作用，但系我从来唔落。我冇时咧，你问志伟好唔好食先？Yeah. Daddy says. 咩叫做國師法？你學嘅師傅係咁咁做嘅，你咪咁樣你嘅師傅做咯，係嘛？即係你嘅師傅，你唔會學我咁做，你嘅師傅係你教你咁做，你咪咁嗰間你師傅做咯，係嘛？要國師國法，但係我咧就唔唔會落鹽。As a quick note, salting eggplants used to be a thing centuries ago when eggplants were much more bitter. Nowadays, salting doesn't really have any noticeable effect on bitterness because eggplants have been bred to be much more mild in taste. However, if you're frying them, salting eggplants does appear to help remove some of the excess moisture due to osmosis. The salt also helps break down some of the fibers, resulting in a more creamy texture. In this recipe, my dad is going for a slightly firmer texture. If you're looking for more of that restaurant-style creamy feel, check out Kenji's video where he goes into lots of detail about his process, osmosis, and his own version of this recipe. Daddy always say the eggplant, the goal, it is soft, not broken. Chinese is soft, Okay, we have five people ask, how do you keep the purple color? Like, how do you prevent it from turning brown? 嗯，呢样嘢我教唔到你啦。OK， 蒸。如果你喺好高嘅温油温嚟炸佢咧，佢就可以 keep 得到 keep 得到个紫色嘅颜色喺度。蒸嘅方法，蒸咧佢就唔会保留到佢咁紫色喺度。嗯，呢样就区别就系，我觉得你如果你系想食得健康啲，好似我咁蒸嘅，你屋企啫嘛。喺屋企食嘅你冇必要喎，整到我一定話要整到咁紫色咁食得健康咪得咯，好食咪得咯。你以前做餐館係咪你炸你會炸啲嘢？你自己嗌過梗係炸嘢炸咗啲啊！餐館係炸嘅。曬成四百度嘅油，炸一聲一陣間就得㗎啦。廿秒三十秒就搞掂㗎啦。佢咪將嗰啲嗌瓜就倒掉落嗰個大鑊水嗰度，咁我去咁啲油，跟住再煮。即係喺。煮咗曬個蔬菜，倒啲啲嗌瓜落咁，兜兜咪出。餐馆好快啊！得，爹哋佢佢你你如果系好似蒸咁，想佢色靓啲就系加啲葡萄咯。嗯，系啊。嗯。系先。嗱，我话俾你听，仲有用最简单嘅做法，咪个味。最简单嘅做法就咪个味，蒸一诶、呃、十分钟。Okay. 蒸咧要蒸，你连埋煲滚水摆落去咧，起码二十分钟先得。好快脆啊！如果你啲後生仔、後生女唔想好似我咁蒸啦，裝住佢，切到擺上邊嘅，夾住佢，咪個味。Ten minutes. So this is actually our most common question. How do you not overcook it? How do you get the perfect texture? 嗯，你唔好煮到佢太熟，太時間長。好似我咁蒸，滾水擺落去蒸十五分鐘，一攣落去，我都覺得佢淋就得啦。煮好曬個沙士，倒落去撈勻啲蛋，唔使冚好耐。但係十五分鐘一定唔會太啦，太過難。How different is this from the Sichuan style？ 冇乜分別啊。不過正宗四川人做呢個魚香沙士，佢就好多嘢做噶啦。我就簡化咗佢做。嗯。四川人正式四川人做呢個沙士，又花椒啦，又八角啦，好多香料落去嘅。嗯。佢增加四川人嘅嘅口味，同我哋廣東人嘅口味差啲。我哋簡化啲。But here, some of the stuff you even cannot find it. So if we we tell a lot of complicated thing, is it is not going to help all our fans to make easier the home to do this? This is an unrelated question. Someone asks, I would love to get a video about the flute. <laughs> Multiple people. Yeah. We've gotten so many comments. You can tell Daddy this. Somebody wants a full playlist <laughs> of Daddy Lau's. You mean the full? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So can they, oh. can Daddy Lau make a different channel? 
for just his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, somebody asked for an album. Yeah, yeah. an album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, we can. Daddy, Daddy have a, a lot of fruit. Yeah. When when he uh, like a move to United States, yeah, was get a get a shoe. Mm. Maybe over ten. Wow. Uh -huh. Well, what about my my dear darling? Oh, that's cute. Yeah, mommy, mommy, that's cute. Because it's his favorite habit, so yeah. I want to get that. If I move to United States, it's hard to get. Yeah. Get the food in here. Mm. Very hard. Chinese have a very good food. Mm -hmm. Right, Kim? Kim? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, hello dear fan, or our audience. I believe all our fans able to learn, able to cope, and then tell us, oh, I so enjoyed this dish. Thank you again for your support, your subscribe, your watching, you share. Kim can say, I love Japan. We see you next time. Bye.